Welcome back everyone, Kareem here today. We are talking about subscribers versus viewership. What's the difference? Well, there's usually a delta. There's usually a divide between how many followers you have and then how many of these followers actually engage. The higher the ratio to the people that supposedly follow you versus the people who actually take action on whatever you would ask them to do or the people who actually come back and again and again and again for your content, like these people, it doesn't matter where they are in the process of whether you're just educating them or whether you're actually try to get these people to pick up the phone and call you or go online and fill out a form or join your newsletter. It doesn't matter what the heck it is that you would prefer them to do. The higher the engagement, the higher the proportion of people, let's say you have 100 people subscribe. YouTube's easier because these terms match perfectly. So you have 100 subscribers. And then your viewership on each video, you're only getting, and you see this a lot where people have like these inflated numbers. If you have like a thousand subscribers, but then your average view per video is like 10, you can get like 10 people. Or let's say you have 10,000, that's even worse, but your, your average viewership on a video is like 200. And but you got 10,000 subscribers. I'm just trying to put this into people's mind, like what you should be going for and what you should be benchmarking. Like what does success look like when people say, like myself, make content, put content out there, create content, interact with your audience, make a community. Um, because, you know, ultimately we would like them to do what we would like them to do, which is, you know, go ahead and choose us for our products or services, at the very least, make a more informed decision because that just helps the market, right? Especially if you're giving people um, information about budgets, it just makes it a, hell, a heck of a lot easier down the road if this person ever wanted um, some, some type of service to know like what they should expect to pay and things like that um, or like what products they should go after. So, you know, you you hear less, you hear, ultimately you hear less people crying later down the line later down the line about things breaking and you know bad contractors and all of this stuff whatever anyway back to the point um we talked about this the other day vanity metrics vanity metrics is when you're counting things that don't count like you're looking for things that you shouldn't look for you're looking at oh man i got this many people following me or subscribing to me or what the heck ever it is and then they're not actually really engaging anyway what you want is to have a high proportion, let's say for those 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, let's say for each of those 10,000, heck, you want to have as high as engagement as possible. I mean, preferably you'd like to get 8,000 of those people to actually view whatever the heck you would post on your content. You want these people engaged. And so you got to make engaging content. You got to make informative content, but it doesn't happen overnight. It takes time to learn this. It takes time to build this relationship. It takes consistency more than anything else to get people to actually come back and back and back because you can be counted on to do that. Like one of the big things to just set yourself apart off the bat, off the rip is just be counted on to show up consistently. For you now, you might only be able to create and record three times a week. Um, suggestion here, do it in batches, um, chop it up, make a podcast, interview someone, go interview a supplier for some shingles or some vinyl siding or something like that. Um, chop it up into like little 10 minute segments, interview them for an hour, boom, you got like six weeks right there. You know, if you're really picky and you got to cut some stuff out, then you've got, I don't know, four weeks, got a solid month, of just a weekend of stuff. You can just drip, 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 and just chop it up. And this is suggesting for content. Um, but not only that, <clears throat> what you have over time is like a library of people that'll come back in and start asking questions. You know, your ulterior motive here is to have people see your content somewhere down the road. Also, you only got to make the content one time. And then now they're hitting you up because for whatever reason, they like your work. They like your personality, they like your brand, what it stands for. Um, hey, they like the hat that you had on that day. It, who cares why they hit you up, right, ultimately? But they're ready to, to spend money or maybe they want to take the next step in the buying process. And, you know, now they're curious about you and your services, ultimately. That is the goal. With that, it's Kareem. Watch your metrics. 
not your vanity metrics, viewership instead of subscribers. We're going for how many people actually tune in versus how many people tune out when you have like these massive followings and then hardly anybody's really engaging. Um, yeah. See you next time, everyone. Peace.